Okay, so I was just watching this video on uh, doing parasitic draw test, and what I've set up here is I've got my uh, treble light, or test light rather, not treble light, test light, I rarely ever use, I'm actually using, I had to dig to find it. I got it uh, powered up to a 14 volt battery, and I got it powered up through this uh, 15 amp fuse here. All right, the yellow lead, I got a low amp probe I'm checking. Before I even check this, I checked it out with my uh, Vantage here, and it, the test light here draws about 83 milliamps to keep it lit here, and I got some pretty light duty wires, so I might be even losing a little bit through these, through these little test wires. Anyways, I uh, saw a video that you could measure parasitic draw, and 83 milliamps, that's about a fairly normal parasitic draw of what you find on cars nowadays. It's about, usually about enough to kill your battery after about three, four days of sitting around, especially if you got cars on your lot. Typical cars don't get driven every day. Get driven once a week or so, and when you go out there to start them, the battery's dead, and then somebody's complaining. Anyways, uh, the, the point of the test here was to see if uh, I got my Vantage here set up on millivolts. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's right now it's registering one millivolt and I got the test leads one on each side of the fuse and the point was here to see if you could measure parasitic draw through a uh, through a fuse on a loaded circuit by measuring the voltage drop on each side of the uh, on each side of the fuse and uh, I just wanted to experiment here a little bit to see if this would work or not. Like I said the test lamp here is about 83 uh, drawing about 83 milliamps so less than like I say a 194 bulb or glove box bulb or deck lid type bulb and uh, here I'll show you what happens here we're showing one millivolt and uh, I'll disconnect from the battery the power source the light goes out and we drop down to uh, we're showing zero and we'll hook this back up and it comes back up to one millivolt so it's a pretty minute amount I'm not sure how accurate this is I don't like using if you check the parasitic draw you know you could uh, this the Vantage here has a built-in amp meter and you could try pulling fuses and stuff but a lot of cars nowadays you don't want to start pulling fuses and stuff because you automatically uh, upset everything as soon as you pull a fuse especially when you got something like a body control module or a radio that may have several uh, power supplies. Pulling a fuse sometimes just uh, leads to more confusion when you're trying to figure out what's, what device in the vehicle is actually pulling the battery down. So uh, I guess this works. I mean I got it set up here. It's not in the vehicle. I figured this way. I got my alligator clips on the fuse and I got more alligator clips on the alligator clips hooked up to the uh, up to the voltmeter here, or to the Vantage here. Uh, you got to have a pretty accurate voltmeter to do this. I, I'll tell you that right off. It's, it's not a, it's not 100%. But if you've got if you've got amp draw, or if you've got voltage drop across the fuse, first of all, to have any voltage drop, you'd have to have voltage on the fuse. Obviously, you'd have to have a something that's staying powered up, a constant live circuit. And then if there's something drawing on it, well, I guess anywhere. You, you could test anywhere on just about any circuit and you're going to find some resistance. It's just a matter of uh, what you can find acceptable. Here you can see it's kind of switching back and forth between 0.8 milliamps and 1 milliamp. So, you know, I guess I guess it's a worthwhile test. I mean, there's no perfect way really of finding parasites anymore. The, using a low amp probe to try to find parasitic draw, to me it's just there's no way that that thing's accurate enough. Even right now, I got that hooked up to my... Uh, to the virus here and we're showing it shows about 50 milliamps a draw from the test light and I tested it before through the through the Vantage through the built-in amp meter in here and it was actually closer to about 83 milliamps so right away you're off almost 30 milliamps by using this and I did zero it out and everything and even you fluctuate I mean this thing is so sensitive that even you move it a little bit and you'll start seeing some variations here I, I just don't I'm not in, I just don't think an amp probe is a very good way of measuring parasitic draw. I mean, it's one way to do it without interrupting the circuit, but even to use the amp probe, you're still pulling fuses out. 
And if you don't want to pull fuses, I guess this is about the only method that's left is uh, is uh, back or is uh, testing on both sides of the fuse itself. And admittedly, especially if you get into a, say like a new Chevy Traverse where they got the interior fuse panels mounted underneath the uh, glove box upside down, it's, this is going to be a very very hard test to do in a vehicle like that. And, then, and even then, if you're doing it inside the vehicle, you've still got a trick the vehicle into thinking you got the doors closed and all this other stuff so no easy way of ever doing a parasitic test but this is just another option I guess and uh, I guess there is actually something to it that you can actually well, disconnect uh, one lead from the vantage here and that just that really messes things up because as soon as you get an open lead on your on your uh, voltmeter you start picking up all kinds of stray voltage, just especially on this lowest setting that you're better off uh, checking to see what you got when your circuit is disconnected. So I don't I mean this maybe the vantage isn't the best uh, the best voltmeter or DVM to be using for this. Maybe fluke makes something that you can actually zero out your settings before you start back probing or testing the fuses. So I, I guess you got to go by whatever your your zero your initial zero count is, and then uh, measure up or down from there when you're touching the fuses. So I guess I mean it's a worthwhile test, but and it does actually show some some drop just across that little fuse. So maybe it's something to look into. I guess that's about it.